My friends, this year we celebrate the bicentennial of the founding of Singapore by Raffles. We have joined that special League of Nations, which can boast of sufficient antiquity and history, and it is a moment of pride we can all celebrate in. But this bicentennial is also a moment when we must reflect on what it will take for us to forge ahead as a nation. I believe that what is required is change. Change is frightening to many because we are asked to step into the unknown. But twice before in our nation's history, change has propelled us to greater heights and achievement as a people and as a nation when the existing power structure no longer served us. Can you imagine Singapore in 1959, having been ruled by the British for 140 years? A Singapore that was flourishing with commerce and trade, already a global hub for goods with the most important port in the region. And then the British left. And this filled the ordinary Singaporean with fear and trepidation. What will become of us when this great power leaves? Will we survive? Are we capable of doing it ourselves? There was no way of seeing into the future, and the unknown often creates fear in a people. Yet we did say goodbye, and we not only survived, we thrived. Less than a decade later, we faced a similar situation. We left the Malaysian Federation, and once again this threw up similar fears. How could this tiny dot of a country survive without her hinterland? Won't we sink and fail and lose our place as a prosperous nation in the region? Yet we did say goodbye, and we not only survived, we thrived again. Now 60 years on, we find ourselves once more in a near identical situation. The PAP have lost touch with the people. They have become the party of the privileged and powerful, the party of the elites. They warn us that at this time there must be stability because there is a leadership transition. But Singaporeans, it's time for a change in government and not just an in-house party leadership change. And today, we are more fortunate than our forebears and elders of 1959, who had no collective memory of what impact change would have. They had no history to guide them. We, however, know that we have done this twice before. We know that as a people, as a nation, we will continue moving ahead and onwards. A nation makes or breaks because of its people not because of one regime who may have held power for 140 years like the British or 60 years like the PAP. And so we not only survived, we thrived after saying goodbye to the British. We not only survived, we thrived after saying goodbye to the Malaysian Federation. And now on this third occasion, the same will happen. We will say goodbye to the PAP and we will not only survive, we will thrive as a people and as a nation. There is always fear involved in change. This is true no matter your station in life, whether you're changing school, changing a job or career, a personal or family relationship. Fear is useful. It can help us face the realities honestly. How many of us sit with something way too long because of fear? Looking back, we think, why didn't I make that change sooner? So let me ask you to think forward to a time when you wake up and the PAP are no longer in power. The good men and women of Singapore will still go to work to do their best in teaching us, caring for us when we are sick, protecting us, serving us. The teachers, the nurses, the police, the security are staffed by good ordinary citizens, not PAP office bearers. Do you think those good people keeping our country running keeping the lights on, keeping our Wi-Fi on, running our transport systems, are going to stop doing an excellent job? No, of course not. It angers me to hear the PAP say that our country will fall apart without them. The true heroes of our nation's remarkable success are the amazing sing people of Singapore. How disrespectful. And what a wasted opportunity to invest in Singaporeans and give credit where credit is due. The morning you wake up after the PAP are no longer in power, and the subsequent mornings after that, you will see a Singapore that will not only survive, but will thrive more brilliantly than ever before. And you, my fellow Singaporeans, will be able to tell your grandchildren how when the time came, when the push came to shove, and the power structure had lost its hold, and was of no more use to a prosperous and modern Singapore, that it was you who faced the fear, came together 
with your countrymen and said bye-bye to the PAP. The use of fear serves the PAP and they have used it as a weapon for more than five decades to keep our people under the yoke of their control. But no amount of fear-mongering can hide one of the most important lessons of history, which was beautifully summed up by the great British Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli, who said, change is constant. In a progressive country, change is inevitable.